There will be no more lingerie football for the mayor's niece, Krista Ford. Deb Ford's daughter has called it quits with the Toronto Triumph. Tonight, she's speaking out. The football league is now faced with scandal after most of the players walked off the field last week. Our Rob Leff has the story. A team already known for wearing less clothing now has far less players. Four of us were axed and 16 of us chose to leave. The Toronto Triumph, an expansion team in the Lingerie Football League, is undergoing a massive roster overhaul after just one game. 20 of 26 players gone. Safety, they say, the number one concern. The helmets were hockey helmets that we then watched our coaches and some of our players' boyfriends drill holes into to apply visors and a chin strap. So we all know when you drill into a helmet, you, you pretty much ruin the integrity of it. Sandra Della Justina says she suffered a major concussion in training camp. We were doing a lot of these exercises without the proper uh, safety equipment. So currently, um, I am in a study at St. Michael's Hospital about head trauma. Krista Ford, daughter of Councillor Doug Ford, niece of the mayor, broke the news on Facebook last week, even going as far as quoting Malcolm X, a man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. At first, you let it, you let it kind of people just go over you and go over you, and you kind of let it slide, and then enough is enough. We have to stand up. The league has issued a joint statement in conjunction with the Toronto Triumph saying the recent allegations about safety are completely baseless and rather desperate attempts on the part of several disgruntled former players that are obviously unhappy about the team moving on without them. If that's how he feels, then he's he's you know he's free to say what he what he likes, but it's really it's really unfortunate that it's it's just not true. Players claim emails from the league chairman were far more blunt. He sent an email response back to us. Sh just shut up and play football. The Triumph's second game of the season goes Friday. A stripped down roster in more ways than one. Rob Black, Global News. To City Hall next. And